As of August 15th, 2021, the new open carry law for South Carolina goes into effect. The changes are part of the new legislation called the South Carolina Open Carry with Training Act. And today we're going to discuss the new law and what the new requirements are regarding carrying a firearm in the state of South Carolina. Hi, my name is Dale Savage and I'm a criminal defense attorney here in Charleston, South Carolina. Today we're talking about South Carolina's open carry law and how it is applied. You can now open carry in South Carolina, but there are limitations and you must have a concealed weapons permit to comply with the law. So let's go over the new changes in the law. What does the open carry law allow? You can now carry a handgun openly on your person or in a vehicle. It applies to any firearm having a length of less than 12 inches measured along its greatest dimension. You must have a concealed weapons permit and be at least 21 years of age. You must take the eight hours of training and pass a background check that includes fingerprinting. The $50 fee for obtaining a permit has been eliminated. Are there places where you can't carry? Yes. Businesses and private property owners can prohibit firearms provided the ban is clearly marked by signs at the entrance. Local governments can restrict open carry on public property during events by posting signs prohibiting weapons. Weapons may not be carried on schools. What is the training required? The new Open Carry and Training Act requires a person applying for a concealed weapons permit to complete a basic or advanced handgun training course within three years of applying for the permit. The course must include information on statutory and case law relating to handguns and deadly force, information on handgun use and safety, information on proper storage practices with an emphasis on storage practices that reduces accidentally injuring children. Actual firing of the handgun in the presence of an instructor with a minimum of 25 rounds fired. Properly securing a firearm in a holster. How to respond to a person who attempts to take your firearm and de-escalation techniques. So, if you are facing a handgun charge and would like to discuss your case and possible defenses, please give me a call at 843-530-7813. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.